Ready to Love Season 3, Episode 2. I absolutely love this show. It was the first mixer of the evening and two people got sent home. Welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married Too. My name is Janice. Please be sure to subscribe, thumbs this video up. Let me know your thoughts. I need some more comments on these videos now. Okay, love you. Thank you. Remember, today is November the 3rd. It is 2020 election E to this election day in the United States, okay? Vote. Go vote. I am wearing my black girl vote. Hallelujah. Please do not make the assumption that because I am wearing a, a shirt that says black girls vote means that I am aligning myself to any one particular party because I am not. Okay, it's just that all of my shirts says black girl votes because my husband and I, we support a lot of black businesses and all of my vote shirts says, they all say black girls vote, okay? <laughs> so go out and vote. Make your voice be heard. Do not believe the lie that your vote don't count. Every vote counts. Okay, so go on out and call. I'm hearing some testimonies and I'm writing a book. I will be... Really, I, I uploaded it on Amazon, but I will be releasing it uh, soon. Just getting an approval from my editor that people, and the Lord told me this, Hana Messiah, then I'm going to move. Glory. <laughs> I am hearing testimonies of people. The Lord told me, he said, people's going to go in the booth with their mind made up to, to vote for one person, and I'm going to change their heart. I've seen it. I've seen it. I have seen it. I have seen people die hard party liners. I ain't going to say who or what. And they say, I'm um, die hard. This is who I'm going to vote for. And then they go to fill the ballot out, and they say, God told me, change your vote. So I'm waiting to hear of the testimonies. If you have a testimony on this election day, I want to hear it. Hallelujah. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know. We will talk about it. I will probably be live on my other channel, Study the Bible, in one year uh, tonight. Okay. At least for about two hours because, you know, your girl got to sleep. But I'm going to try to be up for about two hours. You know, 10 o'clock I'm going to be. All right. I love you. I love you. Ready to love. Girl, are you loving Ready to Love Season 3? I love this show. I absolutely love this show. This is my second time watching it. I watch it live on Friday night. I was half asleep. And then I re-watch it again to really, really hear what the contestants are saying. I am excited because I, I really, really do love this show. So at the resort, Khalif is the one that arrived first. And honey, everybody is, is, is feeling this sexy chocolate ball. Okay. Right? He just sucks it. Okay. Joy, uh, and something, and, and then I write down what the people are saying, and then I kind of watch them throughout the season. He said, jealousy is a red flag. He said, you look good, I look good. Let's just have a good time. So ladies, if you have a jealous spirit, men can pick up on that. Then Joy arrived. I absolutely love that Joy showed up in something different. She showed up in a pink silk pantsuit very modest very beautiful her hair all the guys love her love her hair honey all the guys are like oh she's so feminine she's so girly she's oh i love her yes and i love her too and i love her hair and i'm wondering is that a wig or is that her real hair i'm starting to feel like it's a wig okay but i don't know joy says she is not olivia pope and she's not dealing with any fixer uppers go ahead joy read it in my book in my book fixer uppers is in my book 23 times guys you my me available on amazon edwin comes he is the military guy he feels nervous so, uh he said he is the black superman clark kent love superman it's my favorite superhero i absolutely love him okay then denise shows up i like denise i like her Especially because she's older. I think she's 43 or so. She's 39. She looks older than her age. I like her, but I'm nervous for her. And she says her presence demand a certain attention without her saying it. Now, I want you to remember that. Put a comma because we're going to come back to that later, okay? Okay, she says she's 5'9". She does look fine. Legs for days, okay? Legs. So, ladies, if you have legs, use your legs. She said her ego is 5'9", her mouth is 5'9", 5'10", her heart is 5'10". Denise, baby, your mouth can't be 5'10", because ain't no man going to stick with you, okay? We got to change that, baby, okay? 
David says for the right lady, he'll do anything he has dated. City girls before, they're about their money and they're about your money too. Okay, David, you're coming off as cheap and broke and maybe not broke, but cheap. Okay, because the first thing you don't talk about is money. I don't like that. But I like David, okay? I like him. He reminds me of somebody on TV. I just can't, I can't place him. So if you guys remember who, because every time he talks, he does this <laughs> thing. And I'm like, who does that remind me of? And I just can't place it. So if you remember who David reminds you of, please let me know. He's the real Southern guy with the hat. Extremely Southern I like him, but I, 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 I don't know, David. You're coming off as kind of cheap, and, uh, you know, I don't like it. Okay, so if anybody knows who David reminds you of on a sitcom or something, let me know, okay? Then, uh, Denise likes him. Okay, now he's 38, David. Let's see how old David is. Denise is 39, Joyce 38, uh, David is 36, and Denise is 39, Denise is 39, okay, one problem I have this season, and I don't remember if I have this problem last season, is there's not a lot of older men, you have all these 41 year old, 42, 43 year old ladies, with all these 38 year old guys, and ladies, let me tell you, let me get some of the stresses off of you, okay? Because I just think that some of you guys are just delusional and you don't want to call a spade a spade and accept it as what it is. Nine out of 10 guys our age do not want women their age. My husband was in his 40s looking at the 34-year-old. And I remember the night when we met, I had invited my girlfriend. She didn't come. And later she was like, oh, if I was there, he would have chose me. And I, in, in my head, I'm laughing at her, okay? I'm laughing at her in my head because here's this man, a bachelor, never been married, no kids, want to be married, want to have kids. And out of a 50-something-year-old grandmother of three or four, and a 34, just turned 34-year-old, beautiful, sexy, fertile, <laughs> at her sexual peak 34-year-old, the 40-year-old something man would have chose the 50-year-old grandmother, forgetting that he wants to get married and have kids. Delusional. Because he wasn't looking for a baby, a, a sugar mama. He wanted a wife that he wanted to marry and he wanted to have babies. So how would he choose, why would he choose a grandma of the girl that wants to get married and have babies? I just don't understand. So this season, they just, there's not enough older guys for the, old, for the older woman. Because they're 42-year-olds. Naya's 42, she looks older. Denise is 39, she looks older. Joy is 38, she's beautiful and cute and feminine so she can get away with some stuff. And there's not enough older guys. Raymond is 52, uh, the Rolling Stone with 55 kids. And I just have a problem, nephew Tommy and Will Packer, that you have all these older women with no older men. We need older men for these older women because the men their age want the 31 year olds. And the 32 years old, one of the, the young girls said, oh, I can't help but notice there's so many older women here and they're giving me the side eyes. Because they know the guys their age want the 31-year-olds, not the 41-year-old. Okay? Winter. I like Winter, but now that I heard she's a minister, and my, my, now I don't know if I like her that much. Because she... she, she <sighs> She said when she walks in a room, she gives the goddess energy. What's with the goddess energy, child? Is you save or if you save not, child? God, because God is in the Bible, you know. Winter. Okay. Uh, she said her goddess energy precedes her and she can't control it. Anything you can't control, Winter, read your Bible. Bible says a, a man who does not have control over his own city. Uh, it's like a city broken down and is without walls, okay? The orange dress is hot, though, girl. 
You was on point with that orange dress, honey, because all the men remember the oranges. They see there, lady? Bright, pretty colors. Stop running the dark, the dull, the, bl the black, the gray, the, bl the navy blues. Unless you wear it on the bottom, because you know sometimes that's especially that time of the month, girl. Okay, I understand that. Okay. But at least up here, you got you have to have something. Okay, if you don't have any, put a bow in your hair, girl. Put a flower right here. They'll remember the flower, okay? Um, boom. She separates Cal from the uh, from the group. So Cal was talking to Denise and somebody else, and she said. I don't have a drink. Listen to what Winter said. She said, I don't have a drink. Where do I get a drink? Cal says, oh, I'll get you a drink. Go ahead, girl. And then she separates him from the from the group. Okay. Others arrive. And then Thatisha says she's, I mean, I'm sorry, Alicia, not Thatisha. Because she's giving me the thought vibes, Alicia. And I like Fatisha, I mean, <laughs> Alicia, I like Alicia, I want to see her win, I feel like Alicia, how old is she, this is it for her child, she, she, Alicia's 38, she looks older, she looks older than 38, in her interview, she said she was heavier, she, so she did, she lost the weight, she did the, did she do surgery? I don't remember. She did the mommy mommy thing, and I guess well, everything they had, they got it and put it in her rear hand, honey, because she got a big badonk, 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 badonk. And she said, man, when you meet men, they either want to have sex with you and marry you. And I'm like, okay, I understand the sex part. For First of all, you give up sex vibes, but like my daddy said, all men want to have sex. Alicia, but what's wrong with being married? Don't you want to be married and taken care of and have a father for your kids? Girl, what's wrong with you? Okay, they know. When they meet you, they know. Okay, she said, Kalfani, she said, oh my God. Nope. Go back. She said, Alicia, thought, uh, <laughs> she said, of what, how you, what you doing, how you doing text. Yeah, yeah, see, I want to answer those, okay? She said, listen to Alicia. That's why she's probably going to get and left, okay? And ain't nobody going to take her seriously. She's dominant and wears the pants. You know why you wear the pants, Alicia, and women like you? Because the men you're choosing don't wear the pants, okay? Uh, and she said, and that's a problem, and it's going to take a big old black, strong, stallion, 6'5 man to tame her. What's wrong? Why you tame? Want need to be tamed, baby? You're an animal? Patricia, are you an animal that needs to be tamed? Are you a big old horse that needs to be tamed? Okay, Chris. The pink suit. Fuchsia. Fuchsia suit. Listen to what I hollered. He said, they said men don't have a biological clock. I beg to differ. Mine is ticking and I want a baby. I was like, yes, Lord. And he knows joy. I never heard that before. He said, I know they said men don't have a biological clock. I beg to differ. Mine is ticking. Put a comma there because I'm going to come back. He said something later that's powerful. And see, I don't even find him attractive. And now I want to find him attractive, but I don't. You know, thank God I'm married. Okay, and I, I, I love that. I love that about Chris. I love it. Simone. I like this girl. She reminds me of Christina, but the thing is, I didn't like Christina. I like Simone. I like Simone based on her interview because she says, I know that I have problems and I need to calm it down and I need to stop being so controlling and her being a lawyer kind of contradicts with her dating and her social life and she needs to get control of that. I love that she went to counseling. She kept choosing toxic men. And then she went to counsel with her and her dad. And now she knows that she's loved. And she knows everything that she's been doing wrong. And she knows what she needs to do. But Simone did the opposite. Simone. I really, 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 really like Simone. And I want to see her win. But if she don't get control of her little mouth, it's going to get her in trouble and get her kicked off. Okay? Okay. She says, I'm at, a sausage, I'm at a sausage fest, and I'm famished. 
Simone, stop being a thought. Okay, stop being a hoe. <laughs> I made a sausage fest and I'm famished. See, she's saying the wrong thing, child. She's saying the wrong thing. Okay. She's aware that she she has to have one husband. She could have either one husband or five. You know what that means? She's a thought. She's a hoe. She's a hoe. She's dropping it. She's dishing it out. Like government cheese to everybody. Small. I can't believe you out here in these streets dishing it out like that. Well, she says she needs one. Okay, Rashid asked her what brings her to Houston. She said, I love, and he said, did you find it? She said, I'm looking at it right now. And they were just, I was like, yes, I love it. 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 Let me say this about Rashid. In his interview, I don't find him attractive. Like I have to find you physically attractive. I don't, I didn't find him attractive. But I loved everything he said. I love everything Rashid said. And I loved him in the mixture. I was, I felt so <sighs> Rashid because he's the type of man that takes control. He controls the narrative. He steps and goes for what he wants. And I love that in a man. I love a masculine man. I love a man that can take, con take control and I love a man that can go after what he wants. I love that about Rashid. I love it. I love you, Rashid. You're trying to look for you. I'm going to have to add you to my list. Change your glasses a little bit, though. I'm glad. Maybe it's the glasses. I don't mind man with glasses. My husband wear glasses, child. But, you know, some of them just the men, you know. <clears throat> okay. Adriana, I, I like her. Notice she's one of the, uh, yo, she's the one, the, the cheerleader. I, I feel, I, I want to like her, but I feel like she's going to be a problems with the older woman. I feel like Adriana is going to be flaunting her youth. It's going to be in the older woman faces and be like, I'm younger than you are. They don't want you because I'm young. I feel, and I want to like her, but I feel like I'm not going to like her. She said, first thing she said, I know is that I'm one of the youngest women that's here and the older women are side eyeing me. Okay, girl, just enjoy your youth and find your husband really quick so you can get married and have babies. Okay. And she said, there's no competition because I can get any man I want. Well, that's news to me because you had a, a, a sausage, a sausage fence, <laughs> according to Simone. How old is Adriana? She's 31, right? Perfect age. Perfect age for you to get married, settle down, have married, get married, and have the babies. Uh, okay, Adriana's 31. Yeah. How fine it says, oh my God, she's killing it. She's killing the game. See, Adrian is 31, Kalfan is 38, and those are the types of women he's going to be going for because he is young, she's younger and sexier, he's 38, and fertility, she's a fertility goddess. Okay, I don't like the word goddess, but let me just throw that in. Alex is 33. Okay, one just journey to lead to love. I, li I feel like I like her. Of course, her name is Alex and my daughter's name is Alexia. Okay, and I like Alex, Lexi from the other season. Uh, she wants to love, to environment is great. Don't want to step on anyone's toes, but he had here to find love. And I like that. You know, in other words, she want to be respectful, unlike Miss uh, Adriana over here. Okay, she going to come off as a thought too. Okay, Tommy talks with... Uh, with with uh the group and we see Danny and I'm watching her because a lot of people uh was upset I was on Facebook in the group and a lot of people were upset that she got kicked off and so I said hmm because I thought Small was gonna get kicked off I was like they gonna kick her off okay watching a lot so I said I have to space pay special attention to Danny okay Brian. Girl, rumor has it that the baby mama is pregnant. For those of you who don't like it, when we scream over here, we scream over here, we get excited, we get passionate. So if you don't like it, you know what I say. Go on next door, okay? 
girl, why I heard that on Facebook, because, you know, I deactivated my Facebook, but every four or five days, I go on Facebook to, um, to approve people for my groups and see if there's any memory pictures that I want to get, because, you know, I love those memories. Girl, why was I reading that, um, Brian, baby mama is speaking out because he got some woman pregnant, and he talked about he's celibate. Girl, the girl, the baby mama, I have it on the phone. Ooh, me do. Ooh, me do. Girl, let me tell you. Mm, I have it on my phone. Oh, Lord, I got to email my um uh, my editor my other book. Girl, let me find this picture real quick. Mm -hmm. Pregnant. Knocked up. Oh, and Shay, Miss Shay was on another show. See, this is what I don't like about these shows. They get all these people that was on shows before and try to put them out. And, and I don't like that because I don't know if they're really up here to... um. So, to, because they really want to find love, are they up here because, you know, they want to be on TV? Um, photos, library. Oh, Lord Jesus, why didn't I have this ready, ready camera? Oh, how fun, uh, Brian, I know I took a picture of it, I got it. Is it where is it where is it where is it ready to love lord jesus is this it no all right i'm gonna have to find it and get back to y'all okay because i know i had the picture oh, no. all right i'm gonna get back to you but girl i wanted to read it to you instagram messenger facebook let's see if it's in here nope it's not there i wanted to read it to you mm -hmm. the baby mama is pregnant for Brian and he's on the show talk about he's celibate he ready for a while it's a lie he want to be on the TV show and I you know I got problems with that where is the picture I, I'm gonna find it just as I get off all right all right all right well, I'll come back for it I'll probably do it when I'm reading the questions okay um, okay all right Pregnant. That's the one with the three-year-old, right? I think that's the one with the three-year-old. Mm. Alicia is feeling Khalif. She's feeling up like, you know, I am really attracted to men with big, sexy arms. I mean, it really thrills my soul. And all she's doing is... She... <laughs> Alicia, Alicia. Alicia's going, you know, she going to get the... the couple of seats, this my couple of those guys before the season is over but you know that's what she wants so okay okay she so she's filling out his big old sexy arms okay winter says she's sitting with edwin and she says i'm gonna take the shoes off and he offers to take her shoes off go ahead winter see ladies that's how you gotta throw it in to see if he's gonna help you okay um and he said from the first time i saw you see you I wanted to take your shoes off. Okay, Edwin, Mr. Military Guy, the chef. Okay. Rashid uh, and Denise drinks. She picks up her drinks, and there's a fly in the drink. I read what y'all said on, on Facebook. Stop, stop that, y'all. <laughs> Even though if I didn't really hear it, I guess I would assume that he did put something in her drink that begins with a D and ends with a G's S. Okay, but no, it was a fly in her drink. And she, she went to get another one, and, um, <clears throat> this is what I don't like about Denise, in her voiceover, she was like, she came off, like, cocky, and I don't like that, that's not a good first impression, girl, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, okay, okay, I, I don't like that. Joy was talking to a couple of the, with the other guys, and here go Rashid, go right in the middle. Hello, my name is Rashid to Joy. Love it! She comes, uh, Denise comes back to Rashid and said, what's your name? And he was like, Rashid, and she's like, you gonna remember my name now. <laughs> I guess I'm like, I don't like that, I don't like, he coming off as cocky. Okay, Denise, okay, you gonna be going home soon, girl, because you can't be like that. <clears throat> she said, that's a not good impression. 
And I just don't like the, I don't, you know how as women we talk with our ends. But when you start going like that, get to hood, girl. We don't do that, okay? We don't do that, okay? Especially when you're trying to attract a man. And he's back to talking to Miss Joy. This is uh, Rashim. In the mixing and mingling, Chris won't go, uh, Chris feels as if he, he won't go home because of his presence, his smile, the sex that oozes out of his pores. I, I was like, go ahead. He had on the fuchsia suit, okay? He is, uh, did y'all see the part? I'm going to try to go back and see if I could take a picture of that. He was feeding Denise grapes and it was long and she was like, and he was like, he was feeding it to her and he was like, that Denise, Denise. <laughs> Denise, but see, ladies, you have to make those good impressions. You have to give men a picture. I'm just saying. Give him a picture, girl. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to see if I can take a picture for it. Rashid talks with Naya. And, uh, no, 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 no. Chris, I'm sorry. Chris talks with Naya. I like Naya, but she old, child. She old. She old. I like her though. She's a beautician. She's old. Uh, she said a lady. She's a lady, and she don't approach guys. I like that. She said let the men do what they're supposed to do, and she said you know if the vibe is right. And Chris said yeah, that's old school. I like that. Uh, not a typical man that love loves. Um, she, she said Chris is not a typical man that she would date, but she loves a man with swag. And any man that will wear a fuchsia suit has swag. Chris, listen to what Chris said. I like him for this. He says, I'm done with the smash and scratch the itch and getting up tomorrow morning and you sleeping with this one and this one. He says he wants something real. That's what my daddy see. This is why y'all, these young ladies rushing this 21-year-old and 22-year-old men to get married. Leave him alone. My daddy say you have to give man time to get the dog out. Why are they still e texting us about donations? Hmm, why why are they still texting us? I, the election is over, okay? <laughs> I told Mike, I said, why is so-and-so texting you on my phone? Why is so-and-so texting you on my phone? <laughs> Talk about donations. So I love that about Chris because ladies, he is at the place where he's done with the games and my daddy said, give the man time to get the dog out. And Chris has gotten the dog out and now he's ready to settle there. That's what my daddy said. And he said, he said I'm done with that. I'm done with all sleeping with this one and that one. I'm done with getting my itch scratched. I'm done with smashing and getting up and leaving the next morning. I want something real. He's ready. Chris is ready to get married. Okay, so I hope he he walk away with somebody. Okay, Simone talks to Rashid and he's she's telling him that he's a, a he's in luxury car sales, and <clears throat> she said, "Oh, fancy fancy cars," and he was like, "Yeah," and she said, "One of her deal breakers is financial stability, and you know if he's doing luxury cars, the brother is loaded." Okay, and I like that. So Edwin was talking to him. I forgot her name, and uh. In the group, listen to what Simone, child, she just talks, she run her freaking lips too much. She's not going to get her no man. She talked too much. She was like, she was talking to Anthony and a couple of the other guys. And she said, I taught school before grad school a year. And she said, I realized that I didn't like being poor. So she went to grad school to become a lawyer. And the guys look at her and sh shook their head. And then uh, Edwin, Edwin was there. And he said, oh, you're an attorney. She says in her voiceover, no more slackers, even if they're fine, because I can't take your abs to the bank. High five, Denise. High five. <laughs> Hallelujah. You do cute at 16 and 18 and 19 and, 20 and 19, 18. 25, 30, 35, 40, we want somebody that's established, that got the money you can take care of us, pay all these bills around here, put some money in my bank account. Not that we don't want the ads. 
I was the type of girl, I ran track, I would have liked somebody who had a track body or, you know, but I wasn't, you know, I was like, as long as he's healthy, not fat, not obese, okay, but he didn't have to be like, uh, have a track body, and then my brothers, child, my brothers are younger than me, well, even my brother, my brother and I, one of my brothers and I are eight months apart with different mothers, that's a long story, <clears throat> and then my other brother's like two or three years old. When I saw that they have pot bellies and guts, I said, oh, girl, you got, you have to change. Because, you know, in my late 20s and early 30s, I was like, you know, you got the gut all the way out here. I can't do it. And so when I saw that my brothers had little baby guts, I said, girl, you got to adjust. And then I opened up myself to men who would not necessarily have a big old 12 months gut, but a little gut. And I'm so glad I did because my husband, when we met, had a little gut. He had a little bit as big and now I told him the other day, I said, you got some weight because I can't get my arms around. That's not true. I was just messing with him. <laughs> okay. So I love that Simone says, if you're not established, I don't have time for you. I can't take your abs to the bank. She asked Khalif where he's been lately because she likes to travel and she asked the guy if they have a passport. So this is her breaker question. Remember she said, I asked the question and um, she has a threshold question and if, if they, if they, if they, um, if they don't make it, then that's it. Yes, I'm good. Okay, relax for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's good that she has a threshold question. So her threshold, do you have a passport? And all the guys were saying yes. And she was like, how can you send the most beautiful woman in the world when you haven't been nowhere? I like that small. You're a good girl. Okay. David looks lost in a room full of beautiful women. Uh, and she asked Adriana how tall she is because she's tall. She's the cheerleader. She's 5'11". So she's 5'11". She's taller than Denise. She does not look taller than Denise. But Denise has on the skirt right on top of her legs and it's it flares out so you can really see denise's legs and i would not think that adriana is that tall okay she says rashid uh they dated years ago they went on a date they were both not ready he she ghosted him david chats with dot with danny and they're from nearby cities and they're he he ha 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 and i'm paying attention and i'm like that's what the guys are talking about she's homegirl Sam looks lonely. I knew they was going to send him home. Alicia's extremely sexual, touching on everybody. Talks to Shay. Uh, oh, and Sam is questioning her. So do you want to do this for the rest of your life? And she's like, what? Of course I want to do this. Dumbass. <laughs> Shay is talking to Brian. How long? Let's, let me t bring up sex. Shay, why are you talking about sex on the first date? Technically, it's the first date. Brian told me he's celibate. You lie! You just had a, you have a three-year-old. She's still in diapers and you got, <laughs> you got another girl knocked up. Joy talks to Jay and Joy is the, she has beautiful teeth. Ladies, show it. If you have nice teeth, show it. <laughs> All I saw was, was her teeth just grinning and grinning and grinning. Uh, and I don't like what she said. Girl, talk about she building an empire. Don't want to do it alone. Don't say that. Don't tell the men you're building nothing, okay? Don't let them know you're building anything. Shut your mouth. Denise talks to Cal on the swing. She said, let's just wait right here. Then she put her long, beautiful, sexy legs over him. And I was like, go ahead, girl. First, you have one man feeding you grapes. You have your legs and the other man. And then later, she going to have another man rubbing her toes. Denise ain't going nowhere. <laughs> she thinks he's fine. Um, but she said, I don't want to have to work to get someone to like me. I'm 50-50 on that. I think that you should be yourself. But I also think that you need to realize that there are some things about you that you can tweak a little bit. There's nothing wrong with tweaking. Not changing yourself, but tweaking a little bit. Kyle says, had a good conversation. Her presence speaks to him. He asks her, listen to what Cal Fani, the one sexy man that all the women are attracted to, say. Do you have a tough purse exterior, but soft on the inside? 
Boom! There it is for those of y'all don't think I know what I know I'm talking about. You can't, this is why I said Denise is too rough and hard. And he asked her, are you just hard on, you're hard on the outside, but are you soft on the inside? She said, yeah, I'm soft on the inside. So Denise, why we can't see some of that softness come out? Because guy want to see that. Okay, guys want to see some of that softness on the outside. So I want to see you show some softness to the guys on the outside. Because they need to see that you can be soft. And not extremely masculine and hard and tough. Okay? You need to show them some softness. I can be soft. Raymond, a.k.a. Rolling Stone. Leave his hat. Okay. He's all. Talks to Naya and Alicia. Uh, Alicia, I think she said she has two kids and then Raymond said, but I have you beat. I have five. And Alicia choke on her drink. She said, well, how old are they? Okay. Uh, and she, he's a musician. Uh, he said, because you're a musician, you're automatically labeled as a whore. You are a hoe, okay? And this is the thing. You don't have any control over your dingling. The Apostle Paul says you should have a control over your vessel. You just let you just letting it all hang out. You could have had AIDS, God knows how many times. When Ray tells Simone that he was traveling with Tank and he always throwing names, stop throwing names, okay? She said, "Oh Lord, were you out there hoeing too?" He said, "I was," and she said, "What made you change?" And he was like, "I grew up." And then she said, "Excuse me, I need to go get some water." <laughs> High five, Simone. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> Drop. Walk away. We don't do house. We don't do house. Five kids. She want to get married and have kids. Child. We, we not about to take care of no other women's five children. Okay? Because that's not going to lift a lot of money for you, me, and our children. So, bye. Unless he is loaded like God knows who. Okay? You're, you're not going to get no inheritance. We can't do that. Okay, Simone? High five. High five. High five. Anthony is sitting over here massaging Denise's feet. Now, I like that about her. And I just wish she would soften up. I want her to soften up because she's giving sex appeal. She is laugh, leaving an impression. And um, I love that. Sam and uh, Alex talks and she say you, you want more than, you should want love more than you. I don't necessarily agree. Sam is just boring. Bye. She, she said, she, she said, I'm bored easily. She said, he's nice. There could be some potential. No, you was you going to have to be the leader. He comes off as very shy, not necessarily feminine. He might just be beta, you know, very quiet, very shy, and wait for the woman to take a lead. Because he was standing outside instead of him going in and being like Rashid. And, hey, my name is Rashid. What's your name? He was just sitting right in the room for the woman to approach him. And don't woman want no that. Cal talks to Danny, and she's joking and and he says, I have a daughter. And he says, she said, please tell me she's not six months. And she's joking with him. And then he laughed. And he said, no, she's 12. And then he she he said, I have a son too. And she said, he's six months. And she's joking and laughing. Then in his voice, so she said, Danny had him laughing, homegirl. She can hang out with him and be one of his homies. Listen to me, ladies. I know the church and people tell you, be his friend first, and then y'all could get lies, 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 lies. You don't want no homie. If they see you as your homie, they don't see you as sexual. If they see you as their home girl, they're watching game. You scratching, he's scratching, he's drinking the beer, burping, smashing the can. You're doing the same. He is not going to find you sexual. Nine out of ten men will not find you sexual. And so Danny is out here laughing and giggling with all these guys and giving them the homegirl vibes instead of being sexy and sexual. And her dress was just wrong, nice color, but it did absolutely nothing for her. I'm sorry, it looked like a potato sack. Ray talks to Adriana, talks about his past. He likes younger women because they accept him differently. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because I think you might have a couple of dollars, okay? Uh, he said back then he didn't want to get into a relationship, but he kept getting in there. 
because this thirsty Pikmisha woman could not walk away, could not understand when a man said, I don't want to get in a relationship. No, 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 no. You're forcing him to get into a relationship with you, and that's why you got knocked up and left. I had a baby at 16 for those of you who may be mad about what I'm saying, okay? Rashid interrupts them, and uh, they were both, uh, was talking to uh, Adriana. I said, well, what happened? He was like, I wasn't ready. I was out of my relationship one month, one year. I had to get my little boy adjusted. She was out of her last relationship a month ago. She said it was wrong to ghost him, but they were not ready. And uh, so he asked her, do you want kids? And she said, yes, I want to have three boys. And he was like, I'm in love. <laughs> so hopefully Adrienne and Rashid uh, hit it all and get married and have babies. Edwin and Danny is talking. Once again, giving up the girlfriend vibe, Joy and Cal. David talks to Simone and she says, I'm glad you took your glasses off because I was beginning to think you're cockeyed. Simone, Simone, shut your mouth, Simone. Shut up. You talk too much. You talk too much. And they don't find it sexy. You're not saying anything that makes no sense. Shut your mouth. Why are you going to tell the man he look cockeyed? Oh, I'm glad you took your glasses because I was thinking you're cockeyed. Oh, shut up, Simone. You talk too much, girl. You're not going to get to no man talking so much. Jesus Christ. Forgive me for calling the Lord's name in vain, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, then she asked, do you have a passport? She needs to have more than one question to ask. He says, yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to DR in June. She said, for what, for hookers? He was like, huh? She was like, for what, prostitutes? Prostitutas? <laughs> she was like, I live in D DR and blah. And I was like, I was screaming to these. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. He said she did not make the best first impression. See, you have to make a first impression, ladies. Oh, Denise. I mean, a uh, 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 smoke. Then it's time for the elimination. Tommy comes around every time and he meets with the ball-headed group. That's that's uh, Jay and Rashid. Jay likes Joy. They love her here. Rashid likes her too. Love her here. Rashid likes Adriana and Simone. So that's why Simone got to stay because I was like, they're going to send her home. They're going to send her home, but I like her. I want her to stay. Not feeling, Rashida is not feeling Denise. She said, he said, too aggressive and is a turn off. See, too aggressive. I know one of y'all foolish women is going to come on here and say that's because he can't, he can't. I know, I'm going to tell you what you're about to say. He can't handle her. What is wrong with you that you need to be handled? Are you an animal other than in the bedroom? Okay. We, don't use that word. Okay. Do not use that word except, you know, when it comes to the bedroom. You want to be handled. Okay. Other than that, don't you dare use that word. Talk about, that's because he can't handle me. Shut your mouth. That's why you ain't got no man right now. <sighs> you know, I don't like to say that, girls. I don't like to say because, you know, I was 34 when I met my man. Okay. Tommy talks with Naya. He, she's feeling Chris. And she said they connected on principle. Principle is I want to get married. I want to have kids. We're going to do this God's way. We're going to do it right. Simone likes Rashid. Bing, bing, bing. Money, money, money. He's a luxury car. So she likes him. Love connection. So there's a love connection right there. Winter likes Edwin. He's seasoned, she says, okay? Simone is not feeling Ray. Uh, he said dated music, musician and their horse. I don't know what that means. And, and Tommy, you can see the look in Tommy's face that Tommy is like, Simone, shut up. You talk too much, shut up, okay? Naya is not feeling Sam. Uh, she says she's too much for him. Yeah, he, you know, send Sam home. Winter is nervously and hoping that the dress worked. Girl, it worked. All the guys liked it, okay? Cal is feeling Denise. That's good because Denise is feeling you too. Chris is feeling Joy. Sam is feeling Alex. Edwin, Anthony, and Ray is feeling Winter in the orange dress. 
and Anthony say winter orange. That's that color of that dress. They are not feeling Danny. Gave home girl vibes, and they're not going to pick the home girl. They're not trying to marry the home girl. I keep telling y'all this. Nine out of ten men would not marry the home girl. Okay, they don't, there's the there's the home girl, the friend zone, and then there's the sex appeal woman, and you want to be the sex appeal woman. David is not feeling Simone. She said he said beautiful body, beautiful face, but her conversation is trash. Neither was Edwin, Anthony, or Ray. Not feeling Simone. Um, they said they felt like they were being interrogated. And then they later learn she's a lawyer. And then they say, oh, okay, but Simone, we talked about this in your interview that we, we you have to leave the lawyer in the corner. Lock that heifer up and throw away the key until Monday morning. When you're dating, leave her. You're not her. Leave her because she's going to cause you to be manless. Okay, Denise and Alicia is feeling, I'll say he's sexy. He was like, that can't, mm, she him some tonight but you know, that's just my assumption danny is feeling david because he's country yeah girl he sees just a home girl okay joyce feeling edwin because he's seasoned knows what he likes and uh she also likes jay no one was feeling sam and ray uh they say here's the thing and thomas said when a woman say here's the thing look in the elimination David is feeling confident, but he's nervous. I like David, but I feel like he's like, oh my God. He's like a fish out of water with all these beautiful women. The bottom two were Sam and Raymond, and of course, Sam went home. Uh, he said, it sucks to be at the bottom already, and it says a lot. Yeah, it says a lot, Sam. And Ray said he isn't ready to go home. Okay, bottom two ladies is Simone and Danny. So I knew, I knew it. I was like, they're going to send Simone home. But when I was watching it live, I didn't pick up on Danny. And I was hoping they would send, keep Simone home. I know a lot of you guys like Danny, but no one liked her. No one spoke up for her. Rashid spoke up for Simone and a couple of other guys like Simone. So that's why she got to stay because at least two guys liked her. Nobody in a sexual way and no one liked Danny. Okay, listen to what Simone says. She says she's, when she's talking to me and you, she's saying all the right, right things. When she's in a group of people, she's, she, 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 she says, feels, I feel like a failure. She's in the bottom two and might not be ready to love because clearly what she's communicating is not what the guys are receiving. Thank you. Now shut your mouth. Smile. <laughs> shut up. You know, and I don't like to tell people to shut up, Simone, but you you getting on my nerve. You getting on my nerves. You acting like a man. Okay, and you need to stop. You acting, you cannot be that way, Simone. You can't be that way. So I hope next week you get your attitude together. Cause you're gonna be manless, Simone, and I don't want you to be manless. Okay, I want you to find a husband. I get it. All right. That's it, guys. I absolutely love and adore you. Let me know what you think. Do you think they were right in sending Danny home? Do you agree with me on why they sent Danny home? Do you what what do you think about what I say about Denise? I think she I like her, but she's too manly and masculine and aggressive, and you can't be like that with the men folks. All right, I love you. I'm gonna run. Remember, if you have not voted yet, today's election uh day go vote. Remember to please subscribe to my other channel, study the Bible in one day. I absolutely love and adore you. Bye.